If you are a car enthusiast and have ever thought about seeing the old decaying muscle cars be restored, then the graveyard cars comes in clutch and does exactly that. They bring old muscle cars and restore them to their former glory with the basic motto, Mopar or no car. The show only has talented car enthusiasts who work together on the restoration project. So, why would they ever leave the show if they loved it? Let's first look at the show. It was established and owned by Mark Worman, who also happens to be the CEO of The Division, the production company behind the show. However, Graveyard Cars show didn't just come out of thin air. It has quite an interesting story behind it. Mark wanted to document the restoration of the 1971 Plymouth Cuda, which got wrecked on July 5, 1980, when the driver lost control of the vehicle while racing with a pickup truck at 100 miles per hour. To prove that the car could be restored, he asked his friend's son, Aaron Smith, to film the whole restoration process. Then after seeing how entertaining it was, they decided to start filming the concept material for the TV show, and thus Graveyard Cars was born. It took the whole five seasons of the show for the car to be restored. During these seasons, the viewers went through the slow transformation, from dipping it in a paint-stripping tank to repairing and restoring it. It even went to the American Metal Direct for installation of its spots. And finally, in season six, we saw the fully factory restored 1971 Plymouth Cuda. Its worth is well over a million dollars now. The car was once stolen, and they made a post about it on the official Graveyard Cars Facebook page. Fortunately, they were able to track down the lost car and recover it. Now with that out of the way, why did several members leave the show? Josh Rose, one of the most popular original cast members of Graveyard Cars, mysteriously left the show and never returned for the fifth season. Many speculated that he was being paid low for his job, but it may also have been affected by his divorce from his ex-wife Alyssa Rose, the daughter of Mark Werman. They married each other after dating for several years in Maui, Hawaii, and even birthed a daughter named Emma in August 2010. Unfortunately, it seems like things didn't work out, and they went their separate ways due to irreconcilable differences. But the details have never been revealed. In another instance, Darren Kirkpatrick left the show at the same time as Josh, but the reason was entirely different. He constantly argued with other members, and Mark claimed that those arguments were not scripted but real. The rumor is that Mark fired him. Another popular member, Holy Chedister never appeared after starring in the second season. Rumors emerged that she left the show because of constant verbal abuse and arguments with Darren Kirkpatrick. After Josh and Darren left, Dave Ray joined the show and quickly rose to become one of the fan favorites. But it was revealed that he would not be returning in 2017. His reason was that he wanted to focus on his own company DB Restorations, which he runs together with Bill Ray, his own brother. However, there were also rumors that he had a beef with Mike, which led him to create a similar business. Additionally, in one of the episodes, Graveyard Cars said that someone had sabotaged the 340 Cuda engine and even hinted at the person responsible for it. Whatever the case was, it doesn't change the fact that they have left the show. But did you know about the rumored lawsuit? Rumor is that Mark Worman owed money to various cast members of the show. It's said that they were fired only through text and weren't even allowed to come back to collect their tools. His actions were not only unfair, but also illegal. Another possible rumor of possible lawsuit was by the clients. They were trying to sue based on the bad work done on their car, despite paying huge amounts of money. And that's it for the video. What'd you think about the show? Will you keep watching Graveyard Cars? Do comment on what your thoughts are about the show. Hit the like button and subscribe to our channel if you like the video and stay tuned for more.